All right, someone wanted me to look at spell on YouTube, so let's do it from top to bottom. I'm going to use the Wix. Um, the 618 would currently be right at 2.62 cents. Um, that's where you want to be above on the daily time frame to be bullish. If you want to be bullish on the smaller time frames, I would say you at least want to get it back above this 382 fib, which is at 1.85 cents. Um, currently, you're trying to hold this 236 fib, uh, which is at 1.38 cents. If you don't hold that, you're going to come down to this local low probably, which is all the way about 40% lower than a penny at 6 tenths of one, 6 one tenths of a penny. Um, and from here, that would be a humongous drop. So I would say that you cannot lose this 382 fib here or it's going to be – a, a big drop. Let's let's see how far it would be to the next to the next target. Fifty seven percent drop. So um, obviously there's going to be some bounce points. There probably also be a bounce point here at eight at um, eight eight point eight eighty eight percent of a penny. So whatever that, however you want to say that, eight hundredths of a I don't know what it'd be. Uh, but eight, 12% lower than one cent. That would be your next stop. And then if you don't hold that, then I do think you come down here to. Um, this local low down here. So it's not looking too hot, but if you do hold the 236, um, then I think you'll be okay on this. Let's go to the MACD and see how that's looking on start the one hour and go from there. The daily chart looks like it's probably ready to reverse. One hour chart has a little more downside. The two hour chart has more downside. The three hour chart, same thing. Four hour chart, eh, four hour chart could, I think that has downside too, because everything else looks bearish. The six hour chart could have some momentum to go up. The 12 hour chart could have momentum to go up. The daily chart is about to reverse. Three day chart doesn't have enough data yet. So I would say six hour chart and lower. Um, wait. I would say three hour chart and lower look like they want to go down, but I would say six hour chart and higher looks like it wants to go back up. So bigger time frames looking like it is about to reverse. Smaller time frames look like they might need to consolidate for a few more hours before they reverse back up. So I would say. Um, it might hold this level here. I will say this. I think spell token holds the two, three, six fib if Bitcoin's low is in. Um, but it doesn't look like it is because it, it can't stay above 41 K. So we'll see what happens. But spell, if Bitcoin doesn't hold 40 K, this is definitely coming down to this local low. Probably. Um, that's just my opinion. That's what I, my guess would be. Um, cause the market doesn't look very bullish right now. Now tomorrow is the big thing on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin cannot stay above 40 K and if it closes tomorrow's candle at 7 PM central time, my time central time. Um, if it closes tomorrow's candle below 40K on the weekly candle close, I think Bitcoin's bull run is over. So tomorrow's a huge, you have to really be watching out for tomorrow, um, tomorrow night to see where Bitcoin closes the weekly candle. Because if it's below 40K, bull run's over in my opinion. That's all I got. Um, spell token will probably do whatever Bitcoin does. So if Bitcoin doesn't hold 40K, this is going to be going down to this local low. If Bitcoin stays above 40K tomorrow on the close, this is probably going to stay above the 236 FIB for now. That's all I got. See you guys in the next one.